First to start with close guard to open guard. Most of the time close guard. To get this hand so deep in the collar that you have an X choke, it's just not gonna work. You're better off having it low to where there's minimal slack, there's still gonna be some, to where you can still pull, you can <coughs> bait, uh, what do you call it, a loop chokes. This hand right here can push his neck, you see that right there? And I can push his shoulder, okay? You see how my guard open and I'm on my elbow. Too much of this right here on your back is gonna be no good, okay? So as we're here, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull him in as he postures up, I push, slide out, feet on the hips, okay? I have sleep control here, okay? The next thing is is that Everything is based on action reaction. So you see, I slid back and I'm sitting up, or I'm sitting up like this. Because if you notice, if I keep scooting in and pushing him back, okay, he will push back into me because he doesn't want yeah. And you see, I can put him back in the guard. Okay? If I need, just an example. Okay. So here, I break his posture. He postures up, elbow, feet, hips, and I'm right here. Okay. The reaction that you want is gonna be rooted in what you're trying to get. But if they're on their knees, okay, with your feet on the hips, I can break his posture and immediately go for a loop choke here and begin to sell it to where if he starts dipping his head to his right, I'll be able to take him over and potentially just capitalize off of, not a loop choke that I was trying to finish, but just one that I was just trying to get him to react. One of the most important aspects of here is building up, okay? Your hand is low enough, okay? Where it's gonna be hard for him to also break the grip. Because to break the grip, he needs to remove the slack. If he tries to break the grip here, okay, see that slack? If I'm all the way up here, and he grabs and breaks the grip to him, and push the put, it's easier. When it's slacky, you create slack. He grabs your wrist, I create slack. He's not, you know, and then from here, right here, look, one, he pops his head up. Okay, so you create action, reaction, action. You get ahead, ahead, ahead. So if you notice, I'm not on my back. When you're on your back, it's good when you're underneath. Okay? More so when they stand. I'm going to get a low kind of grip. And I'm going to give him one of these. So this is firm. So that this can... So that this grip... Right here is low enough to steer, push, pull, push his neck that way to constantly disbalance him. Because look, from here, feet on the hips, your repostures up, pull his head, repostures up right here. Okay, I scoot out, call it right. And you see, he's constantly moving. See that right there? And see how I use that same cross collar grip to push, pull, and steer. Very important, but notice this hand was able to essentially knee pick or ankle pick him. Because what happens oftentimes from here, from the closed guard, is that they're not going to stay on their knees. Their right knee is going to move. Once I open the guard, okay, here he possibly will. But as he postures, elbow, hand, right here. Okay, now I know it's a bad angle, but usually they'll pick up a knee. It's that knee. Very easy to sweep. Okay? So you have to be aware of what knee they pick up. So for the newer gentleman here, your partner's gonna pick up their left knee. For the more experienced ones, your partner's gonna pick up the right knee. Okay? Because look at what I'm ready to do. I'm ready to react, okay? And I'm causing him to react to me. So I'm ahead, okay? So as I pull him in with the legs, elbow, hand, here. Yeah, right there. The second he does that, look, he's gonna wanna posture up. Yeah, but yes. How come your hand is on the mat? Just explain. Okay, so here, okay, he picks that up. And what would you do at that point? And just sweep him. Pull, side, scissor. Simple, because you're on your left hip. You don't wanna be flat on the asshole, because it's round on the hips and then you're easy to rotate. If I'm here, 
I'm on one hip. I can easily go scissor and get up and push. And the reason why he's got this hand on the ground, okay, is because I'm pushing him forward, okay? Forces him to put that hand on the ground. I can easily literally get up because my left hand's on the mat. A lot of this is concept based. Oh, look, he, he pulled, he, he put postures. One, see I'm pushing, okay? Yeah, right here. So let's say, uh, yeah, so what would you do from here? Okay, I, I scissored now, I didn't even get the, get the hand, okay? For the newer gentleman, you're gonna do this. Hand on the collar, you're gonna pull, elbow comes in, scoot back, you see I'm pushing? Here, and I'm on my left side, okay? Sharif is gonna slowly pick up his left knee. One, two, three, and get this knee. Because here you still have collar choke, you have potential back takes, S mount. Okay? So, for the good partner, you'll pick up the left knee. But remember, it's the wrong knee. Because you're going to get, especially from my left side, because for me to turn my hips and just, <clears throat> just balance you that way, you're going to be behind. Because even if, he, even if I miss this arm and he posts out of it, Watch your episode. So hold. You know, like I'm pushing. See, I twist and I push his neck. See here. Okay. All right. He wants to pick up that left foot. So I caught his arm. You see how I'm still pushing. Notice I'm not constantly pulling here. This ain't floating. I'm, I'm constantly pushing. You see, I, even here, I can begin to get up and control. Okay. Nobody's ever really taught me that. And I noticed I use that all the time. If I miss it, if I'm here, look, one, two, three, he picks it up, and I miss it, okay? He starts trying to get up. Notice how I beat him to it, just because I opened up the wrist and I kept pushing his head, climbing my hips, okay? For those of you who are more new, you're gonna do basic scissor sweep. Well, not so basic scissor sweep, but it's a scissor sweep that works, okay? And you want your left hand just to catch his elbow, so look. Pull, elbow, and now I push. My right foot was on the mat, knees in here, okay? He picks up the left knee, one, two, and push with this and get the knee on the mat, okay? That's for the newer students. For the more advanced ones, okay? You need to practice sliding your hips back. What I'm doing is this, look. <clears throat> look, he breaks his posture, he postures, look, heel on the mat, push, and I'm here, okay? If he picks up his right foot, it's either going to be on the outside or inside. If it's on the outside, what I'm going to do is this, I'm going to take the left foot off, ankle pick, steer him to the left. It won't be exactly the same every time. But I assure you, you're gonna get up faster than he's gonna be able to get up because you're framing with the wrist. Don't leave it dangling. You don't wanna wrist lock yourself because that'd be horrifically embarrassing. Go like, oh, tap, tap. Keep it rigid, okay? So you're like, okay, like here. Push, pull, shoulder. <clears throat> always take the slack out because you can always do one of these, like, like these and snap their head, okay? Pull. One, two, he picks up that right foot, look. My right foot's on his hip, look, my left hand. But my left hand scoops that, get this here, to your, to your right foot here. I'm gonna get here and keep pushing that hip and then come up on the hand. It just picks it and then you build up with the left hand because you come up on any cut. Does your left foot just drive the pressure into Shuri? I'm As pushing you? his hip. With your left foot? With my right foot. My left foot, all, all I'm doing is this. Look, look, I'm here, right? He picks that up. Look, I may even go for a, here, he postures up. Maybe step on the outside, okay? You'll see, the second you tilt, all this does is that you go, you're gonna fake. 
You're gonna fake a sleep, uh, loop choke. Pull, lift. Here, here. Then look right here. I'm gonna pull. He postures up <clears throat> from the head to the heel, and I'm gonna take him this way. Here, okay. However, I get up, whether it's cutting, whether it's on the outside, that's already up to you to recognize. You just gotta get up. You're never gonna get up. You're gonna be on your elbow or on your back. The key is to get up, 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 up. Because your jaw, always emphasize. Fight to the top, get to the top, stay on top. This is just a mindset you have to have. Okay? Make sure you're pushing over the hand that's picking the ankle. Not that way. He's got a free hand that way. He won't go back that way. His left knee is in, in, in jeopardy too. You don't want to roll him over your left knee. Because uh, I think when I was rolling with Jenny, I already caught that and stopped him from also having his direct knee. He's with you, okay? <laughs> Swing in, look, one. He's like, I'm pushing him. He wants to push forward, pick up that knee. Look, look, here, you see that right there? And now I'm pulling him, scooping it. My right foot's still on his hip. Look while I go, push. And get up, okay? But this picks the ankle. Once that foot slides, come up on the hand so you can build. On the elbow, it's not enough. On the hand, you get your hips up. Okay, one last time. Look, Look give me two hands. Pull, he postures up. Look, one, two. Simple, okay? But make sure it's all one movement. Don't stop. And you're gonna see it do it slow enough to where you understand the mechanics of why it's working. The key is to pull, like an ankle kick from standing. You're doing it from, sorry, look. Both knees down, look, I'm here. I stop pushing, <coughs> picks up that knee, pushes forward, okay? Maybe I pull him to get his head to come up. Look, that's all I need. And my right foot's still on the hip, you see right there? I'm pulling, pushing, and coming up. All right, let's start there, one, two, three. And let me have the newer gentleman